Our continuing coverage tonight in a he said, he said story. A bar owner accused of kicking a veteran and his service dog out of the bar is sharing his perspective with us tonight through his attorney. Now, remember, we first told you about this last night. It's kind of a case gaining national attention after the alleged incident at Whitey's Bar and Grill in Lisbon over the weekend. KWW's Justin Andrews has been following the story for us. Last night, Justin, you brought the side from the veteran in all of this. Tonight, we're hearing from the bar owner. Tell us more. Well, Ron, you know what they say, two sides to every story. The attorney for Whitey's telling me tonight that this case has absolutely nothing to do with the vet and his service dog and everything to do with the vet allegedly threatening the owners tonight. Very strong words from Whitey's attorney. He was a jerk at a bar and he threatened the owner. Attorney Mike LaHammer not holding back anything surrounding a bar fight now getting nationwide attention. As a veteran myself of the Marine Corps, I'm personally offended that Mr. Russell chooses to hide behind the service dog or his service connection in justifying his actions. Actions, Whitey's attorney says, were flat out belligerent, leading to Chaz Russell, his service dog, and his girlfriend all allegedly being kicked out. Chaz Russell did not even have his service dog. His girlfriend had a service dog at the time. And she brought it in after Mr. Russell had already been in the bar, drinking at the bar. She brought it in later. He says Whitey's owners have the greatest respect for veterans. In fact, both their fathers served our nation. LaHammer claims Russell was a regular at the bar and the owners had no idea he was even a veteran. But after speaking with Russell Monday night, a different story. I noticed right away that the owner uh, was very intoxicated and very upset with us having the dog in there. And we've had Elvis in there for the past uh, week and a half since he'd come to live with us. LaHammer says he's viewed the surveillance video and says once it's able to be released, we'll see what really happened. Meanwhile, he says his client's 10-year-old business now taking shots from people who don't even know the facts, something that's hurting Whitey's strong reputation. Whitey should not be uh, chastised in the media or uh, have people... Uh, up in arms and making threats uh, to the owners of Whitey's or anybody associated with this case until they know the facts. It was a jerk in a bar who had been drinking, threatened the owner, and then refused to leave. Now, the attorney, as the owners were told by Russell, the dog was in training and was never told the dog was a service dog. Now, there is a difference between a service dog and therapy dog, and that could play a factor in this case. We've got you covered live yet again in Lisbon tonight. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. I'm glad you made that point, Justin, because.